told a cop of dumb dumbs and, and, and Thicky Ross, I had a left hook coming. And see, I want to, we'll get to the Bobby Hammett video on the phone with the cop of ops in a minute. But you know, I like to come with the scholarship, something they never do, something they never damn do. So listen to this. This is uh escaping slaves in the Carolinas. It's very important now because this where they at. You see what I'm saying? During the early 18th century, sometimes found they found shelter with the Tuscarora and other Indian tribes. This map, I'm going to show you all a map. This map drawing during the colonial expedition against the Tuscarora tribe in 1713. Now, that date is very critical because they always say, show some of... Uh, uh, past the 1800s, uh, uh, that's African or whatnot. Well, right here it says showing the African slaves in 1713 was escaping with the Tuscarora tribe way back then. And they knew they was Africans. And just like I told y'all before, they knew the land. You see what I'm saying? And see, they, cause they always say indigenous and our copper and all this goofy stuff. <laughs> And then they always say, well, show us something uh, 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 older than the 1800s. We're talking about black people. But listen to this. Escaping slaves in the Carolinas during the early 18th century sometimes found shelter with the Tuscarora tribes and other Indian tribes. This map drawing during the colonial expedition against the Tuscarora tribe in 1713, okay, Thicky Ross, shows the Tuscarora Fort that escaped slaves uh, help build and design. So I want to show y'all the map, and then we'll get into Brother Bobby Hammond because I got another video to do. Now look, something they never do. Now this is a map that uh, was uh, 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 made during the colonial time, during like 1713. We're going to keep it all scholarship. And this uh, actual map showed the escaping slaves in North Carolina and South Carolina and some parts of Virginia and Georgia, how to get to this tribe that was accepting, you know, Africans. Because the Indians understood that we was in the same position, okay? That we had one common enemy. That's just facts. So they killed that copper goofy right there. Why is the Africans uh, making maps, and, uh, stealing maps also, uh, to get to the Indians. If we was already indigenous. What would we need them for. If we already knew the land. Because if you were indigenous. That means you been here. So what would you need to escape. And run to the Indians for. Refuge for. And go to facts. And this past the 1800s. And see. I'm going to tell you something. Because they say. Uh, say some, show us something past 1800. That don't say copper. Well here you go. Africans. Africans, escaping slaves, Africans, escaped to the Tuscarora Fort in 1713 and helped build the actual fort. And we got the map to prove it. And uh, so we're going to get to uh, Brother Bobby Hemming in just a second because I want to elaborate uh, on the copper goofies for a minute. See, they think that ain't nobody, and most people ain't, Doing no research. You see what I'm saying? You catch them up in all kind of lies. As soon as you crack open the book. You see what I'm saying? And see, when you ask them for some evidence, they get the, um, uh, uh, well, we had it, but the dog tore up our homework. You can't come up in the ring, not with King, I know, and sit up here and try to say, uh, well, man, I lost my homework, man, uh, well, it's over here on this computer now. Nah. You can't do that over here. You got to be ready. So let me go ahead and play Brother Bobby Hemi real quick. Check this little copper goofy. They on the phone and he trying to, uh, cause they always talk about, uh, we ain't black, we copper, and we, we, we Indians, we ain't Africans and all that. Bobby Hemi about to check his ass on this shit. See, they think they the originators of their information. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Cause I showed you. The true master teacher over all these Negroes, which is Dr. York. And I showed y'all that.
So I don't want to hear that no more. And I'm going to put the Dr. York up here. You see what I'm saying? So listen to Brother Bobby Hemi. Check this little copper dum dum real quick. Yes. Uh, synthetic time. Uh, to, to be tough. I ain't checked that little copper goofy. The copper goofy ain't even saying that. He ain't even know what to say because he, he done heard this 
And that's how all of them come. Why well, I heard that we was indigenous and they done heard this from these little copper dumb dogs. And every time I go around, see, they won't, they won't call a nigga no more. They mad. I got them arguing amongst they self. I clicked in on one of they videos one day. No, 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 man. No, no, we indigenous, bro. We ain't African. See, even they own people. They be coming over here because they know King got that fire. You see what I'm saying? They tired of that little goofy information. Little Komodo dragon or whatever your name is. Sound like a uh, a little Asian or something. You see, you don't even sound black. Komodo, whatever your name is. That's how you know them names ain't African that they be trying to use. You can't even say them. You see what I'm saying? You can't even say them. You see what I'm saying? But I'm going to put his stupid name up here so y'all can see it. And, and, and if you are indigenous or whatnot, you see what I'm saying? And you coming in and you hearing these goofies. Say this name right here. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all know Thicky Ross. You see what I'm saying? Talk about his people still living on a damn reservation. He lying like hell, nigga. Ain't no niggas on no reservations nowhere, nigga. Period. And you ain't got no Indian blood, Negro. You probably got 2%. You got 2% like everybody else. What are you talking about? And then they always come with, you see how Bobby Emmy checked it. Well, because they always, so the first thing when we come with real scholarship, the first thing they say, oh, man, y'all got that from the white people, man. Y'all got that from the white people, man. That's what the master teachers for. They went out and studied on their own. Do you, uh, you don't never really hear me quoting the white uh, scholars, though I got them. Gerald Massey, you see what I'm saying? Albert Church word, I know all of them. I got their books right there. You see what I'm saying? And I read them to y'all from time to time. You see what I'm saying? But I tell you who it is. You see what I'm saying? But they can't give you the references. I be like, well, who the master teacher then? You see what I'm saying? Ah, oh, man, we just came up with this. You can't come out here like that, Negro, when you got real people out here with scholarship family. So y'all little copper goofies busted. And you just seen how the master teachers handle you, niggas. You see, and that's how I handle you, Negro. So, Thicky Callaway, Gold Mouth, and uh, Aboriginal Broke TV, and uh, Komodo Dragon, y'all heads is laying on the floor. And, man, you ain't, you ain't got to keep, keep going. Nah, nah, I told y'all I'm going to be on y'all ass forever. So, expect the left hook, just like I said. Drop out.